If you think there is an issue with your iPhone and your iPhone has been compromised or there's an iPhone virus, iPhone malware or spam, I'm going to show you exactly what to do to check. I'm going to show you four different things that I've seen previously happen that take care of some of these problems. Now, actual viruses, things that you see like this that pop up on your phone, these are not really viruses. It's almost never the case that you have a virus on your iPhone unless you've done something to your iPhone where you're installing apps outside of the app store. But sometimes if you Google this too, if you look up Apple or iPhone viruses, you'll see things like this where it says press this to install something or take you to another website. Basically all these are, they're really not installing anything on your iPhone, but they may redirect you to websites that you don't want to go to. Okay, so let's go down the list of the four different things I'm going to mention to scan and kind of search for viruses or malware on your iPhone. Let's go to the settings app of the phone here. And one of the first things I like to do is there's an option here for battery. You could go to the battery tab under the settings page. And what you could do here is you could see how your battery is being used. And I typically, if my phone is acting up and I think there is something wrong, I come over here and I look battery by app usage. And if I see an app towards the top that I'm not opening up, I'm going to be a little suspicious about that. So what I typically want to do is I either would download a new version of that app, meaning I'll uninstall this app and get a new one. Or if it looks right and I've used, you know, Facebook, TikTok, email in recent times in the last 24 hours, then I leave it alone. But if I haven't, I always reinstall this app to make sure maybe there's something wrong with the app. Then what I do is I jump into the app store and make sure all my apps here have the latest update because sometimes it's not a virus, but it's an issue with an app and the app has released an update to fix that issue. So what you think may be a virus or malware is actually just an app performing incorrectly here. So make sure if you see an update next to an app, it looks like there you go. This one has an update. Make sure you press that and update the app if there is a problem with a specific app here. A lot of updates take care of that for you. Another issue I commonly seen is related to a calendar spam. So this is not a virus or malware, but it's gonna give you this weird notification in your calendar and then redirect you to different web pages. So to fix that, let's go there and then press your calendar icon down here. And then look over here under your iCloud subscriptions. And if there's a weird calendar here you don't recognize, go ahead and press I and then unsubscribe. Now, I specifically subscribe to this to show you how to unsubscribe to a calendar. But sometimes you need to do this because of some sort of a iCalendar spam. And let's go back to settings. If there are things happening in Safari, so if you're browsing the web with Safari and there's weird things and pop-ups and ads that you don't want to see and you don't know where they came from, and I'm talking about unusual level, what you could do is clear that data. So to do that, you could go over here and find Safari. Let's go there. And if you come down here in this menu for Safari, it says clear history and web data. Now this closes all your windows. But if something is happening with web data on your phone, that will take care of that for you. And I also have this option turned on, fraudulent website warning, right? I don't want to accidentally go to websites that I shouldn't be going, so I make sure this is turned on. So if you want to do the same, do that, and then click clear website and history over here. The data and history of website visits will be deleted from your phone, including cookies, which may be causing malware-like behavior on your phone. And I've also tested out this app called Usage here. So with Usage, it basically shows me under the Usage tab how much memory my phone is using. So just like the issue you have with batteries, if your memory is close to 100%, you probably have too much going on with your iPhone here and it's really shooting up the memory and causing things that may seem like a virus or malware, but they're related to memory. So you could just close any apps that you don't plan on using or just restart your iPhone here to kind of reduce the memory usage by resetting some of the apps and closing them automatically. And hopefully that solves your problem of what may seem like virus, malware, or spam on your iPhone. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.